Hello friends, welcome. Today I'm back with deepness. In the previous video, we used deepness for segmentation. This time I would like to utilize another model to recognize cars and aerial photos or images. For those who haven't seen the previous video, I have to say the deepness plugin in QGIS is a tool that uses deep learning to analyze raster data like satellite imagery. The biggest advantage of this method is that no coding is required and everyone with any knowledge can apply deep learning to their images to detect objects, segment maps, or make predictions and so on with Onyx models and model zoo. Okay, let's test this method with another model again. I'll repeat the same steps in the previous video. So firstly, we have to install the deepness plugin. To do so, just head to the plugins menu in the QGIS toolbar and select manage and install plugins. In the search bar, type deepness to find it. There it is, the deepness plugin we're looking for. Now, just click the install plugin button to get deepness installed. If you've already got it installed like I have, you can skip this step. The deepness plugin in QGIS easily enables segmentation, detection, and regression on raster images using Onyx models, making the power of deep learning accessible to everyone. Some of its awesome features include process any raster layer, limit processing to a specific area, support for segmentation, regression, and detection models, integration with layers, expanding model zoo, tools for outputting training data and advanced settings. It's powerful and user-friendly and perfect for GS pros and beginners. A quick note, after installing, you might need some Python packages. A guide will pop up on your first run to help you out. Check the plugin docs in the description for more details. Here, the tools of this plugin are displayed. Now, let's see the deepness in action. By clicking on the plugin, a new window pops up here. It requires a series of inputs. In the first section, labeled Input Layer, we need to add the layer. For this purpose, I display a Google Earth satellite image. If you want to use such images too, I've already made a video for it. I attach this link in the description of this video that you can refer to. Now, let's zoom into a city or somewhere on the image. Since I intend to apply the car detection model, so I have to go to somewhere with lots of cars to evaluate the results of the model. For the processed area mask option, I set it to visible part to only analyze what's on my screen right now. And finally, the most important part is an Onyx model to make this work. To obtain the Onyx models, we have to head to the deepness website called Model Zoo. I also attached this link in the description, just click on it to reach the website. In fact, the deepness website has a Model Zoo section featuring ready-made Onyx models that make working with the plugin easier. These models are trained on specific data sets and for the best results, your data should be similar. If you're not satisfied, you can retrain the model with your own data or seek help from the creators. The models are for all sorts of tasks such as super resolution models for enhancing image clarity and quality, segmentation models for dividing images like maps or land cover, recognition models for identifying objects or patterns, Object detection models for detecting specific objects like cars or buildings. In a model zoo, there's a table listing the models. The model column states the name and type. Input size indicates the required image dimensions. Centimeter per pixel or CMPX defines the suitable resolution. Description details the model's purpose. An example image displays a sample output to show what to expect. Now here, I use object detection models. There are various types available that we can check out examples of the results for each one in the example image section. The aerial cars detection model is my aimed model. So I click on the name of the model and download the model. Now let's get back to the QGIS. In the deepness and under the Onyx model, set the model type to detector because we want to detect the cars. And for the model file path, load the model we downloaded. 
If your image has, for example, three RGB bands, here you can make sure the model correctly understands which band is which. I usually keep this as default, but here I will select the advanced option to specify the bands. Here we should set the resolution. For example, if my model is trained on 10 cm per pixel, I should enter that. So this model is trained on 10 cm per pixel, but let's test with another number. As a rough estimation, I set the resolution to 3 to see what happens, then hit the run. It usually takes some time to finish the process, so wait for it. See, it's not detecting the cars properly. That's because the resolution didn't match the model's training. So let's fix that and set the resolution to 10 and run again. As you can see, the result is better now, and it has perfectly detected most of the cars. Let's test another busier area as well. Okay, here's a busy parking lot. And the deepness still nails it. It's spotting almost every car, and you can test it on other areas too. Just pan around and rerun it. Pretty amazing, with deepness you're bringing AI into QGIS like a pro, whether it's cars, buildings, or land cover. This plugin makes it simple. Links to the plugin, model zoo, and satellite imagery tutorials are in the description. Let me know in the comments what you detect with deepness. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more GIS goodies. See you next time.